Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family, I'm your host, Jay Rayna, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I have to admit, I have no idea what PJ Masks was before I did this video. I had to call my nieces and nephews to get a full breakdown, and I realized that there was so much I didn't know. Thanks to them and the internet, I can bring you today's list of top 10 scary PJ Masks theories. I hope all of you at home are fans of the show and can appreciate this list because I had to do some digging to put it all together. As always, I would love it if you guys could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. And and stick around for the whole video because I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs which you guys love so much. If any of you at home need some most amazing top 10 content, some extra content on top of this, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We are starting to do Facebook exclusive content and checking it out can get you in our contest. Every Friday in December, we are giving away a prize. This week's prize is a most amazing top 10 shirt signed by all the hosts and $200. The way you enter is by following the Facebook page, liking and commenting on this week's most recent exclusive video. This week's video is the Guess That YouTuber video. If any of you at home want to grab some most amazing top 10 merch, check out the link below and use the offer code MA10 to get $5 off, which means you can grab a shirt for only 10 bucks, which is a sweet deal. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have It's All a Dream. PJ Masks is a show about a group of young superheroes who fight crime during the night and make sure that every day stays safe for everyone. It's like a bunch of little Batmans running around, except they're all themed by different animals. But because this all takes place at night, what is actually happening in the PJ Masks universe? The three main characters are Amaya, Connor, and Greg, who would all be sleeping while it takes place. All the adventures could be separate dreams they have and then share with each other the next day. The three of them could have an ongoing narrative like this. They could even invent stories during the day to influence their dreams at night. This could be a cute alternative storyline. Three friends who meet up every day to share super cool dreams and stories with each other. But on the other hand, it's definitely not as cool as having real superpowers. I would say I would rather have the animal inspired super suit rather than just a good imagination. At number 9 we have the crystal is the source of all power of evil and good. The PJ Mask headquarters is a magnificent totem pole based in the park. From the base of PJ Mask, they start off all their missions. It's also the home of the crystal. This is an energy source which gives gives the three heroes their abilities. But what if this isn't just a source of their power, but power for all the villains? What if the same objects that makes the masked superheroes makes Romeo smart enough to build robots and Night Ninja sneaky enough to be an expert rogue? If this is true, that would mean the heroes could stop all the villains forever if they destroyed the crystal. But that means they would have to sacrifice their own powers. That's a tough sell, make everyone safe, but you no longer get to access your super cool abilities. At number eight, we have one member is a double agent. Throughout the show, there have been a few moments where the heroes and the villains have teamed up. One instance in particular where Luna Girl teamed up with the PJ Masks to stop Romeo from taking over the solar system. As the old saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. It was their mutual interest that brought them together. And in the episode Gecko Saves Christmas, Gecko and Luna Girl build a friendship. This could be because Gecko is secretly a double agent working with Luna Girl this whole time. He's a man on the inside, learning all he can about the other members of PJ Masks until it's the right time to bring the PJ Masks down with the help of Luna Girl and take over the world. World. At number 7 we have Connor will lead to the team's downfall. Connor is one of the main characters of PJ Masks. He transforms into the hero Catboy and has some amazing abilities that go along with his transformation. But one of Connor's biggest downfalls is how impulsive he is. He will often act before he thinks which has gotten the team into a lot of hot water. Eventually you might see this reach critical mass. What if he missteps so badly that we see the end of PJ Masks and all the heroes lose at the same time. At number 6 we have PJ Robot is a spy. One of the overlooked teammates from PJ Masks is the lovable robot who speaks in beeps and boops who is known as PJ Robot. He helps the team at the beginning of the missions, usually with helpful information. He is like the Alfred of the whole equation, the big brain sitting back at the tower. But it's pretty interesting how he got involved with the team. He was originally an invention of the evil Dr. Romeo, one of the main villains of PJ Masks. Romeo made him for one purpose. He was supposed to sneak into the headquarters of PJ Masks, gather information, and make sure they couldn't get in the way of his evil plans. However, that didn't really work out. PJ Robot and the rest of the Masks became friends, and he decided to leave behind his old boss and become a member of the crime fighting crew. But what if this is all part of the plan? What if Romeo is one step ahead of everyone? He could have planned for the PJ robot to become their friend, programming that right into him off the bat. He knew that the masks would take him in and now Romeo has him exactly where he wants him. The guy on the inside, someone watching all their movements so he could know what the masks are going to do before they do it. This would be a very sneaky plan. At number five we have shifted timelines. 
Outside of the real heroes Gecko, Catboy and Owlette, there are a few fictional heroes who the three main characters love to collect action figures of. There's Flossie Flash, the hero with speed powers, who has her own comic series and action figures. There's Master Fang, who is a martial arts expert with a TV show and comic book series. And Master Fang's sidekick, Kick McGee. It's funny how there are three fictional heroes and three real heroes. Maybe because they're all the same. Maybe in the future, the three members of PJ Masks grew up to become these new heroes with these powers. And then through some sort of cataclysmic event, they are sent back in time. So the heroes that the crime fighting trio idolize is actually themselves. That might take you for a little bit of a spin, but it's a pretty cool idea. If Avengers Endgame can do time travel, why not PJ Mask? And number four, we have, they don't have a license. So each member of PJ Mask has a vehicle. Gecko has an amazing submarine that he can use for all their underwater missions. Owlet has a jet that lets them get anywhere they need to fly to, and Catboy has a car that has some speedy wheels. But I don't think any of them are trained on how to drive these vehicles or old enough. It could be a part of their powers that they inherently know how to drive each one of these instruments of transportation, but I don't know if it says that in the show. They seem pretty skilled at driving, but the idea that kids are piloting jets kind of freaks me out. And number three, we have Teacher will soon become a villain. The three and eventually four members of PJ Masks are all kids. We covered that in the kids should not be driving point. So that means they go to school during the day and when they're at school they are guided by the wonderful teacher. He gives them information about the world which they can later use in their nightly hero work. But what if teacher is working with the enemy and just waiting for the right time to strike? In the episode Teacher Goes Ninja, Ninja hypnotizes teacher while he's sleeping to start working for him. He then uses teacher to lure the PJ Masks crew back to his lair and then has them locked in a cell. It doesn't take long for the heroes to escape, stop Night Ninja, and then save Teacher. But I would speculate that there might be some residual hypnosis left in Teacher's body that could leave him as a sleeper agent that is still working for Night Ninja whenever he needs him. It would be like dormant mind control sitting inside his body and the PJ Masks could lose their Teacher forever. At number two, we have Night Ninja Knows Their Identity. Now referencing the same episode Teacher Goes Ninja, Night Ninja knew who the PJ Masks teacher was, so in turn he would know who they are. At the very least, he would have it locked down to what class they are in. This would be detrimental to their hero work. You have to keep the secret safe because you never want anyone to know who you are because if it gets out, it can ruin everything. Hopefully Night Ninja has some sort of moral code that will stop him from spilling the beans. For now it could be that Night Ninja has just tracked down the class and doesn't know their real identities, but if it got out to the rest of the world and the villains, this would mean the end of PJ Masks. And for our number one spot, we have PJ Masks are robots. All of their hero work takes place at night. As soon as the sun goes down and the moon is high in the sky, the animal theme trio springs into action to make sure the world is safe. But if they spend all of their nights going on the street and stopping villains, and all day in school, when do they sleep? How could three kids function without getting a wink of sleep? Well, the answer is they could all be robots. Not just any robots though, but Romeo's robots. This could be why they all have such a feud with each other. What if Romeo made each member of PJ Mask in his lab? They were his greatest creations. Three living robots that could think for themselves, learn and have human emotions. He had truly created life and he would use them to try and take over the world. But he never thought that his creations would end up having a kind heart and stop his plans. Now he hates them because they are his greatest work, but now also his mortal enemies. This would be a pretty good twist for the show. All right, everyone, that is our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as promised, now I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. How it works is Monday through Friday, I pick five pets each day from people who message that day. So if you didn't get picked, you can message again the next day. This keeps it even for everyone and lets me control my inbox, which is overflowing with messages from you guys. And without taking any longer, let's shout out some pets. Starting, we have Pamela's cat, Cobalt. There's something about a sleeping cat that just makes my heart melt. Another fan sent in a picture of her cats, Ozzy and Zeze. They got some laser focus and beautiful eyes. Sabrina sent in a picture of Emery, cat under the Christmas tree that's the best present you could ever hope for. Ashley sent in a picture of her dog, Wookie, and her cat, Mister. I can't tell which one of them is the boss, but I for sure think it's the guy with the little hat on. And finally, Gazelle sent in a picture of her cat, Nala. She's just a little baby kitten, all kittens for the win. So beautiful. All right, everyone, that is our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. If any of you at home want some most amazing top 10 merch, check out the link below. Use the offer code MA10. If you need some more content, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Remember, we're starting to do Facebook exclusive content, and we got the contest. Until next time, I've been Shade Arena, and I hope you all like PJ Masks. I did. A, I know. A, I know too much about the show now. Mm -hmm.